What's going on, people? Thank you for telling us to know how TV. I'm your host, Teddy. Know how straight out of the UK, where we spray EDT or EDP. Spug me, spug me. Bluetooth, Bluetooth. Right, people. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I hope you've been going to the gym. I hope you've been getting your fresh air, seeing friends, family. You know the drill. I say this every week. I hope everyone's been vigilant. I hope you've been cautious. Just minding your, just minding yourselves, isn't it? You know. Again. Indian variant is about and um, I just see something about stealth lockdowns bro so when is this going to end in it so people again please take the time that we do have to go see friends family things are opening up now go out even if it means going out on a Sunday jumping on a tube just going out and walking up London somewhere do it because what the hell is a stealth lockdown let me anyway so today's video is inspired by a close friend of mine, Mr. Mo to producer. I'll put his channel up here somewhere, check him out, check him out. What I have done is I have picked my six best budget fragrance. I think that these six are bruv for your pocket, for the nose, for the compliments, for the, for the head turns. I think this is it. And they're all under 30 pounds. All of them, all under 30 pounds bruv. So today's video is, what should we call it? My super six, budget six. Six supreme budgets. Budgets, six budget supremes. Six supremes, no. Just six budget fragrance, man. Right, so first off, uh, let's go with the Izzy. Izzy Miyake Intense. The ingredients, the notes. The top notes are yuzu, bergamot, sweet orange, and mandarin orange. Then for the middle note, you've got nutmeg, lotus, cardamom, cinnamon, and saffron. And for the base, you've got a good one there, incense, papayas, ambergris, benzoin, and amber. So at the moment, this is currently going between 20 and 40 pounds for the 100 mil. So the reason why I put this on the list as one of the six is it's a Izzy Miyake. Izzy Miyake's been out for years. They've got a, a smell about them. They have an Izzy Miyake smell. You know when someone's wearing Izzy. But the one thing I will say about Izzy, Izzy Miyake actually is for me, Izzy Miyake is Calvin Klein done properly. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Um, one of my favorites for the summer actually to wear a white tee, some white crepes, is Calvin Klein Eternity. But that, Calvin Klein, they have kind of like a, I'm not gonna say powdery, like a manufactured, like a synthetic smell. But for me, this smells a little bit Calvin Klein-ish, but just done properly. And this intense, for me, it is intense. It smells nice. It's um, that, for example, look at that, that's a good mist. Yeah, this for me is, it is, you can do an all day wear with this. This is, you, you, for me, I would wear this like if I was going out. This isn't, for me, this isn't an every day. This, all of them, I think I would say this is for all of them, but these, this will get you compliments. Somebody will come to you and say, oh, what's that? Do you know what I mean? Izzy Miyake, again, between 20 and 40 pounds. Look properly, you'll find it around the 20 pound end. Um, but yeah, good one, Izzy Miyake Intense. Right, the next one. Pepe Jeans, London. Celebrate him. The notes for this one is black currant and lime. The middle note is cacao, cinnamon, tonka beans, uh, clary sage and juniper. And the base is patchouli, amberwood and birch. This one is currently between 20 and 40 pounds. If you check online, this has gone up, it's gone down. I believe it's gone up and gone down because this is a good one. It's a good one. This, especially this one, because this is a remix. This is powerful like a mofo. Remember the cocktail shaker? This is power. EDP as well. I wouldn't suggest that you wear this in, in a small office. Yeah, you would need to be somewhere where there's ventilation. 
simply because Oof. Aye, this is strong. I don't even want I'm not even gonna spray it. It's got a good it's got a good spray head on it. It's got a spritz. Um it's strong. This is this is not to be taken lightly. <laughs> this is not to be taken. They both say that. They all say that on the bottle. But yeah, not to be taken lightly, I'll say with this one. Because this mate. And the thing is it smells so nice. This smells, it smells so sweet. But it's deep, a deep sweet smell. This for me is more to impress somebody. You will let people know that you are dead there with this. I would recommend this, but this is definitely when you're going out. Yeah, I do love this. I don't know if you can hear my voice has changed because this is it's, it's power. Anyway, moving on. What should we do next? Moschino, Moschino, Moschino. However you want to say it. Moschino, Moschino, Yumo, Uomo, which means him. You've got a Salvatore Uomo, you've got a Valentino Uomo, and you've got a Moschino Uomo. The notes in this one, uh, top note, kumquat, alderhaiz, coriander, and uh, Brazil rosewood. Middle note, you've got cyclamen, cinnamon, clary sage, no, yes, clary sage, and labdomen and for the base you've got musk ambergris cedar and wormwood moschino uomo very nice very nice chimbo very nice very sweet i find this sweet for me this is summary um oh the price this is currently between 17 and 25 pounds probably cheaper to get this online so look online for this and you'll get it for around the 17 18 pound mark but yeah going back very sweet for me you can get away with wearing this every day fantastic in the summer because you know these all complement the skin and the sweet ones sweet fragrances are very very nice in the summer because you've got the heat and the heat just radiates the, the sweetness even more so this is a very nice one um i think the spray on this is a, is a good one yeah spritz so this spray head is the same one that's kind of on this one it's just that one's very very, very strong to spray yeah very sweet by the time i'm done with this inner is gonna smell nuts but i can smell this one on top but yeah very sweet very nice recommend it again good for your pocket nice looking bottle yeah Oh, I haven't mentioned the longevity of the others, but these all are four hours plus. Easy. That's why I put them in. These are the best budgets that I think that money can buy at the moment. Moving on, we're going to go pick up the Babar. The Babar for him. Now, this one, let's get into the notes. You've got grapefruit, cardamom and black pepper. You've got clary sage, cinnamon and violet leaf. At the base! You've got patchouli, vetiver, amber, tonka beans, musk, and sandalwood. Now, with this one, 50 mil, by the way. If you know about Barbar or Barbar, however you want to pronounce it, this is their pattern on their jackets. I only know Barbar, Barbar for their jackets. And I was shocked that they had this. I bought it. I bought it as a blind buy. It was 10 pounds. So currently again, between 10 and 19 pounds. And for me, this smells very nice. When I smell this, it dusts off it to my body like a, not in a bad way, but I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But when I smell this, right, I get a, oh, again, mist. But when I smell this, this reminds me admin or a lawyer i say admin lawyer i'm saying that because i get a, a suit a three-piece suit um you know the trousers reach just above the ankles wearing invisible socks some brogues you know a red tie i don't know why a red tie you know with the waist jacket buttoned up the blazer open 
Ah, that's what I get with this. Very nice, man. Uh, I'm actually happy I purchased this. Like I said, ten pounds. It's very nice. The missus likes it. I like it. And again, this gives me a feeling. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm feeling. It's not a bad feeling, but I don't get that from fragrances. And yeah, a good one. Definitely say to buy that. Ten pounds, bobber. Ah, uh, what's next? D and G. The one. Probably shocked to see this in the budget. Anyway, we get into the notes. So D and G the one. Top note: grapefruit, coriander, basil. Middle note: ginger, cardamom, orange blossom, and the base is amber, tobacco, and cedar. With all that said, this is almost a perfect blend. Almost a perfect blend. For me, how this smells in the bottle is how this smells in your skin. That might sound weird, but you can smell some kind of smell of fragrance and you'll put it on your skin and um, it might not smell the same. A lot of times the fragrances differ on different skin, but for me, for me, this smells exactly how it smells in the bottle. And to add to that, this is one step away from being in the top 10. Remember last week, I said that the Azoro Most Wanted, if you ain't seen that, click over there. Um, that fragrance made me make a decision there and then on the spot. And that decision was that I was gonna create a top 10 and that jumped on the top 10 as easy. Now this is one step away. The one thing that stopped me from putting this on the top 10 is I need to smell the EDP. Because as much as the girls like this, because this is a lady killer, it seems like the EDP is very favorable amongst the masses. So I need to smell that first. But again, people, this is a good one. Like I said in the beginning, probably shocked to see this in the budget, but I got this for 25 pounds. This is currently going between 25 and 45. And you're probably not gonna get this. Like, I never got this online. So I would say to go in shops as well. Have a good look. This is very good. It's so good. I had it here before, rinsed it, and 50 mil, 25 pound, I'd be a fool not to. I don't really like 50 mils, but when there's a deal, 25 pound, 10 pounds, do you know what I mean? This one's coming. But then, because of that, come on, rinsed it, very nice, bought it again. Like I said, it's one step away from going on the uh, top 10. Very good spray, look at the coverage. Everyday wear, yep. I'd wear this every day. I did wear it every day. That's why I rinsed it. Got lots of compliments. And like I said, ladies love it. Good for your money, this one. Right, last but not least, we got the Bois de Cider by Carl Langerford. Very nice looking bottle. Nice color bottle as well. Oh, notes. Top note is violet leaf, grapefruit, bergamot, your middle note is sea salt, clary sage, and geranium. And your base is cedar, ambergris, and musk. With all that said, this, very good spray, nice coverage. But for me, this, as you can imagine, this smells nuts. <laughs> but I can still smell the boys on top. Occasionally, I've got some of this as well. But yeah, this, is premium top tier for budget money. Cole Langerford was the face behind Coco Mademoiselle. I'm not too sure about the Blue de Chanel, but he was with Chanel for a very long time. And I'm gonna say he's the reason why Chanel is the way they are today. So obviously he's got his own company and I'm gonna say he's put as much effort, maybe even more, in his fragrances. And I got this for 13, no I'm lying. This is currently 13 pounds. Between 13 and 20, I picked this up for I think between 15 or 16, which is still good. 50 mil, EDT. Very nice, very nice. It does have an aqua tint to it. So you know you have your aqua scents that smell kind of oceany, watery, you know, 
aquarish. This is definitely there, but it's very nice, man. Very good for the summer. Every day. Compliment girl. Yeah, man. Moist this dear. So, people, I hope today you've enjoyed. You can take something away. Most importantly, you've learned something. But what I do want to say is please, people, be careful out like there. Outside is a little bit mental. So go get a voucher, go get a group on, go 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 up London on a Sunday, go for a brisk walk. You know what I'm saying? Get out of there. Obviously be vigilant. Restrictions and all that. But just go out there, people. Stretch your legs. Enjoy it outside. I've been your host telling you how aka to get Russian. And people always remember, you will learn nothing, especially nothing about these bad boy fragrances right here. These six wonderful masterpieces if you think that you know everything peace <laughs>